Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be an interesting matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. And they lost three straight here, and it goes without saying, I guess, they could certainly use a win. And how do they get a win? Because they've lost three straight, I think it's paramount that they get a fast, clean start to this game. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they've certainly found their groove of late, winners of five in a row. And I think the sky's the limit for this team. They're playing the best football that they've played in a long time. fielded at the two and his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line so here's the first drive now for the 49ers they will be led out by the second overall pick back in 2016 hard to believe he's already in his fourth season Carson Wentz would you say that last week's performance by him workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers one touchdown one pick but obviously a loss yeah and that's the bottom line for him all he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game maybe he leans on a few other parts of the <laughs> offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free well, here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle yeah he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line call that a very strong gain of 24. A first carry for the former Falcon, Tevin Coleman. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Coleman. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. They got two of the three they needed there. Leaves him with third and just a yard. And here's the offense now, Charles. Who's the guy you chose to highlight? The tone setter, the guy in the middle, Alex Mack. His return, never good for the opposition. Who that? Who that? Now the young man who was a pro bowler as an undrafted rookie, it's Philip Lindsay. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. So here are the Rams now under their 33-year-old head coach, Sean McVay. They'll be led out by their second-year quarterback, leading rusher amongst QBs in 2018, Lamar Jackson. Now the third leading rusher among rookies last year, it's Nick Chubb. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Come get some. Come get some. Come get some. He don't want it. A run for Nick Chubb. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Let's go, baby. So first and 10 now from the 30. Key tight end. Key tight end. Hey, hey, hey. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. 
Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Let's meet the starting 11 on defense for San Francisco. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. Stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out, being able to play it, understand what you have to get done, and finally stop some people, put them on the ground. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin, and it'll bring up third down. Play action. It's Jackson. Pass interference. Defense. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. An opening for Chubb on first down as he dashes forward for about seven. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Brings up second and three. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And now a carry here for Orleans Darkwell. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Brings up second and four. They go with Chubb on second down. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. From the gun, Jackson. Goodwin able to haul it in. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 24-yard line. A gain of 12. First down. They'll run with Darquan. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second and nine, Jackson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Third and two, here's Jackson. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Nick Chubb, his second touchdown on the season as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you, along the way. And they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp. Guys are focused. Everyone's feeling good. And we're seeing it early in this one. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. It's up. It's good. And the Rams take a 7-0 lead. Makes the score, Rams 7. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This is taken at the 3. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump it down again. Now wins. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second 
second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. On second down, it's Coleman, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. From the gun on third down, wins. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Those are the numbers from Rudolph from last week's game. Seven catches, 76 yards. This defense is ranked near the bottom of the league against the pass. You get the sense that he feels like if he gets covered on any call, He's going to be upset. He thinks he should be open on every snap in this game. On third down, Jackson. Deep ball for Goodwin. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'd open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And the Niners will go on offense first and ten. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and ten. We got three, we got three. From the gun, it's Wins. He's got Burton here. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. On second down, a run with Lindsey. And that one blown up quickly, as he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it third down and ten. Watch the screen. Now Wentz on third down. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10. Chubb. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. He was taken down at the 22 yard line. A two yard gain on the play. And it's third down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Rams on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and eight. From the gun, it's Jackson. And he's got his tight end, that's Smith. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. A good pickup, 17 yards, and also a Rams first down. Play action, now Jackson. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. They'll try the draw now with Chubb. 
And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. The Rams on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. He's got Smith here. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Here's Josh Gordon as he heads back out there now. Hasn't had his best day to this point here in the second quarter. They're losing. You got to think, though, that also means that maybe the defense doing a good job on him. There's two sides to that corner. I would agree, so you have to give them credit, but that means you've got to find a way to beat that defense and make sure one of your top playmakers touches the football and has an impact on the game. Change formations, change where he lines up, put him in motion. Anything possible to shake him free. Maybe that greater impact comes here on this drive. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A first down there on a pick up the 25. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Open man is Kirk complete. And down he goes at the 49, a three yard pickup. <laughs> On second down now, it's Lindsey, and he's got this down to the 35. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. <laughs> Wentz now on first down. This one into the hands of Burton. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. First down, San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. Wentz now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. Throwing his wins. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Coleman now. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Throwing now is Wentz. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Good work, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They're out in front last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. 
to throw is Jackson. Man open, it's Goodwin. Give him six on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Throwing is Jackson. It's caught by Quincy Anunwa. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. On second and very short, Jackson. And this one hauled in by Rudolph. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. First down, Rams. Running for the first time with a fullback, C.J. Ham. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Lots 56. Lots 56. At the 11 yard line. Into the hands of a new one on the jet sweep. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. That'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Here Made him kick the field go. goal, and he had Here points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Tevin Coleman and the rest of the offense making their way back out. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try to loosen things up, get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretary lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. The throw over the middle, taken in. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. On first down, Wentz. He'll get this to Phillip Lindsay complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Preston Smith credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. The 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Wentz going to throw. And able to find Kirk complete. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. They'll run with Coleman on first down. Remember, Tevin Coleman was in the two-headed backfield in Atlanta during his four years there, along with Devontae Freeman. Now he joins a crowded backfield in San Francisco. But in Atlanta, he played under offensive coordinator Kyle Shanahan, and then, of course, Shanahan becomes a 49er head coach, and he made it a point to go out and snag his former running back because he really likes his 26-year-old ball carrier. Daniel Carlson on for the field goal. A 45-yard attempt. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that'll bring him back within four. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot. And they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. 
And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty as they come up on first and 10. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. The weather might be cold, but the playoff races are heating up here on this final Sunday before Christmas. So let's get to it. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt, <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Minka Fitzpatrick on the tackle. A five-yard pickup on the play. Here's Darkwell. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. Great coverage there. Holds him to a two-yard return following a 50-yard punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. He's crashing. He's checking crash. On first and ten, here's Wentz. And he hits his running back, Tevin Coleman. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. On first and ten, it's Lindsey. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. It's a pickup of three. On second and seven, Wentz, he'll find Lindsey here. No yardage to speak of whatsoever. Leads to a third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Shotgun now for Wentz. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Now we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm that's seems off. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And complete. Right side, the tight end Rudolph. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. From the gun on third down, Jackson. Goodwin able to haul it in. 
And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Jackson now, 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. They get this to Smith on the jet sweep. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Let's go, boys. Let's go. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Handoff comes to Chubb, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Dorian O'Daniel, third-round pick in 2018, made the tackle. No gain on the play. Second and 10. And now Jackson will look to throw it. That's out to Chubb, complete. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. On third down, Jackson. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. And he'll get nothing out of that one. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the post. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. They'll run on first down. It's Coleman. Trent Murphy, the one to bring him down. To throw on second and six, Wentz, he's got Burton here. That catch good for five, it's third down. These guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And yeah, that'll set him back five. Still third down. Bad time to get a delay of game penalty there. Not that there's a good time, but that makes it third and six. Three down, three down. Working from the gun, Wentz. This one complete to the running back, Lindsey. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first Let's before go, he's brought baby. down. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him the football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all those big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Now a play fake here on first down. Connecting with Burton here over the middle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Wentz now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. 
A run with Lindsay out of the gun. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. On second down, it's Coleman. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Play action. Now Wentz. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. The Niners on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This will be third and 15. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. On third and long, it's Wins. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up. And that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Shove with a carry on first down. It's not going to yield much, maybe a yard. It's second down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And again, it's Chubb. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Now Jackson to throw on third down. And this one complete to Smith. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. They got the completion, but they didn't get the first down. So you've got to think, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're pretty happy with what you just accomplished there. Yeah, I got it. like you said, got him out of bounds, stopped the clock, kept him short of the marker. They fake the give, now wins. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. And stand in second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 for the 20. Now wins. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And that'll make it third down. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Wentz, open man is Gordon, complete. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. Offense. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. 
keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Vinny Curry, the defensive end, got there off the edge. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Man open, it's Goodwin. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing the yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. But that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Meanwhile, in Foxborough, there in the fourth quarter. You saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. If they can hold on, the win would be number eight for them on the campaign. Throwing now is Wins. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. Second and 10 now from the 27. To throw is Wins. Screen pass to Lindsey. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. The Niners on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and ten. Now whistles here. And I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It will go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career. And maybe more importantly, a first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That was Patrick Peterson from his quarterback spot whirling in for the sack. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Another try after the first down sack. Wentz, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. The Niners on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and 10. Throwing his wins. And that's going to be intercepted. The all-pro corner, Patrick Peterson. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. Now listen, it's a team game, we know that, but where would these guys be right now, Charles, without their defense? So they take over here following the turnover. Defense did it again, but on offense, they have to feel like, hey, we need to do something. You're exactly right, and you just mentioned that the defense did it again. They bailed them out on a number of occasions in this contest. It's time for them to repay the defense at the least. Keep the ball for a while. Give those guys a break so they can catch their breath. Watch left, watch left. Tidy to the left, tidy to the left. Go. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Complete. Smith has it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Play three of the drive, not as successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. They give the chub out of the gun. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Third and two, here's Jackson. 
Rush coming, and he's taken down with a sack and Ziggy Ansah. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go. The football led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, it totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. On first down, Wentz. This one into the hands of Burton. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one goes for 24 yards. So from the 36 now, first and 10. All-star offense. Taylor Luan, the former first-rounder from Michigan flag there. A false start, backs him up five, first and 15. Now wins. Incomplete. He was hoping to get that one to Tevin Coleman in space. And now it's second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now wins. It's brought in by Adam Humphreys. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 23. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. They'll run. It's Lindsey. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Back to throw. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Now Wentz. This will be caught at about the five. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way go, to gash the go, defense downfield. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it'll be a turnover on downs. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in. And if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high. Because mentally, you're saying, hey, hey you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. Switch, switch, switch. They run it again with Chubb. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. The Rams go victory formation as they take the knee. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. 65, 65, 65. That's complete to his speedy wideout, Goodwin. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Here we go. 
On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Here's Ryan Quigley now, standing just about on his own goal line. And taken right at the 35. We've got this. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for Los Angeles, it's a critical win for them as it gets them to 9-6 and six on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for San Francisco, they'll be guaranteed a finish of no better than 500 as they drop to 7-8. and eight. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Seahawks in Seattle. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.